Yo, what up? My name is Amir Perry, and today I'm going to show you guys how I route battery within Pro Tools. Alright, first thing you want to do, go to Track, New, Stereo, Instrument Track, let's create 16. On the first instrument track, what we want to do is we want to create an instance of battery or, in, or insert an instance of battery. Battery. All right. Now, battery by default comes with 12 cells per row, but we want to change this cell matrix to a 4x4 four four size. So all you do is go drop down, go to cell matrix, and go to four by four. It's gonna ask you, do you wanna delete the last eight columns? Just hit yes. Now, the next step, what we wanna do is we wanna assign, we wanna assign a different MIDI input to each of these 16 uh, cells. So we're gonna to go to setup, MIDI input, and we want to take the first cell, send it to MIDI input one, second cell, MIDI channel two, third cell, MIDI, MIDI channel three, fourth cell, MIDI channel four, and so on. So I'm going to go through and do all of these right now. All right, now I got all my MIDI input set. Now the next thing is to assign a different output for each cell. So let's go back to cell one. Let's right click, you're gonna right click on that. Go to output, direct out. We're gonna send cell one to one and two, cell two to three and four, cell three to five and six, and these are all outputs. Cell four to seven and eight, and so on. So five is gonna go nine and 10, you know. So I'm going to go through and do all of these right now. Okay, we got our MIDI input set. We got our output set. So now what we want to do so that every time we load up battery, it loads just like this. We want to go right here to preset, go to our drop down menu, and let's do save settings as, and we're just going to name it default battery. All right. Now we're going to go back to the preset menu, go to set as user default. All right. Now go back one more time to the preset menu, go to setting preferences, settings preferences, and go to set plugin default to user setting. So now let's just, let's take off our instance of battery. Now when we go back and load it again, Watch what happens. We got MIDI input one is going out one and two, and it loads just like how we just set it. So all the MIDI inputs are set and all the outputs are set for each cell. All right, that, that'll just be our default every time we load battery. Okay, the next step in this is we wanna assign an input for each of these 16 channels. Well. 15 of them. The first one already has an input and an output. So what we want to do is we want to select 2 through 16. If you just hold the shift button and click on 2 and then hold shift and click on 16, it'll select all of them for you. All right. Now the shortcut, you want to know this shortcut. Shift, option, and command. You want to hold shift, option, and command. Just click on the input in instrument two, go down to plug in, go to battery, and if we click three and four stereo, what'll happen is you'll see that it'll all go in numerical order. So we got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and so on, all down the instrument tracks. So those are our MIDI outputs coming out of battery they're going inputs to these instrument channels. And we can do the same thing with the MIDI inputs. So if we go up here on instrument two, 
hold shift option and command click on the first uh, click on the uh, input and click two channel two what you'll see happen is it'll go two three four five and so on so now our MIDI inputs are set and our MIDI, uh, our audio outputs are set so now when we go back to battery and open battery let's just load a kick on a cell one let's load a snare on cell two and let's just find a hat for cell three so now what you'll see is that if we go to instrument two where we just loaded that kick and hit it you'll see it's coming out it's coming out of MIDI input one and this is uh, output one and two we didn't have to set that because it's automatically set but this is output one and two now if we click on the snare or clap you'll see this is coming out two MIDI input two out three and four go to the hi-hat same thing so you can do that for all of the channels and I do this because let's say you got a certain compressor or EQ you want to use on a kick or a snare or if you load a sample in there you want to do some processing to it you know using your your good effects now there are some built-in effects in battery but I like tweaking my effects so it allows me to run everything separately and I can use effects on whatever I want to use it on you know this was just a quick tip it's just something that I do it helps my workflow uh, I set this as a template and you can actually set it as a template so everything is already mapped out and routed for you and ready to go I hope this helps somebody out there uh, if it did don't forget to like it uh, if you're new to the channel I ask that you please subscribe I'm uploading videos every week uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know if you have any questions about this. I'll definitely try to answer it to the best of my ability. All right. Until next time, arrivederci.